talking about things that uh, are for the future, and I guess a lot of people would feel those are very idealistic, but obviously you're a man, uh, uh, a practical man as well. You work in the area of business. Uh, I, I'm interested in what you see as the, the, the role for Baha'is working now. I mean, obviously you're working towards those future ideals. Yeah. You're a member of the, the National Spiritual Assembly of the Baha'is of Italy. I believe, uh, which is the main uh, governing body for the Baha'is of Italy. On that kind of practical uh, level of Baha'i administration, what, uh, how do you see the Baha'i community wo working towards those ideals? Yeah, you know, when I went to Italy, it was in the 60s, the Baha'i community was a, a very small community, 200 Baha'is. Now we have a few thousands, and all, Ita all Italians, and Italy is a Catholic country, so it's not easy for the Italians to leave the Catholic Church and become Baha'i. But, you know, when you become Baha'i, you not deny your previous religion because all the religions are coming from the same God. So I'm Christian, I'm Muslim, I'm Buddhist, I'm Hindu. Of course, I do not, uh, I'm not part of any church, but I accept the founders of those religions. This is the same as a, as a, as a, um, uh, as a college. So, to, so uh, Italian Catholic Baha'is are not denying Christ by becoming Baha'is? Absolutely Baha no. They, they really, uh, they fully accept the idea that Jesus Christ was a strong manifestation of God. You know, we are Baha'is only because before Baha'u'llah there were Muhammad, Jesus Christ, and Zoroaster, and Buddha, and, and Krishna, and many thousands Baha'u'llah Baha says. And Baha'u'llah is not the last one because in the future we will have needs and God will provide for other teachers. We call them manifestations of God. <music>